sup y'all bring you guys another video so let's bring you guys an update on the uh fight potential fight between anthony joshua and tyson fury i think we can all agree that this is the biggest fight that can be made this year in 2021 with both fighters looking like they're on the way to be fighting each other now possibly in june 2021 Originally, it was suggested that this fight might take place in May, but uh, apparently now it looks like June is the uh, possible date. And uh, yeah, the Daily Mail wrote about it. Um, as you guys can see by the headline, there's a lot of ads for this website. Um, as you guys can tell by the headline, it reads, Anthony Joshua's 200 million pound showdown with Tyson Fury moves a step closer as Eddie Hearn sends first draft of the fight contract to Frank Warren and Bob Arum, with first of the two bout of two bouts set for June amid interest from the US, Saudi Arabia, Australia and more. So yeah, if you guys don't know, it looks like this fight is not taking place in the UK. Um it looks like it's taking place overseas, which is unfortunate because I think we can all agree that British boxing fans deserve to witness this fight live in person. But as we all know, there's currently something called the coronavirus lurking around um and uh other countries are putting a hell of a lot of money to have this fight take place in their country and it seems like the middle east will most likely be the place but i'm hoping for the u.s to be honest um i feel like the u.s is better for u.s fight fans so obviously me being in the u.s uh, it would be better but um i think saudi arabia or an, a middle eastern country might take place it might might uh snag snag this fight It'll be interesting though if it's Australia though. I think Australia would be pretty cool if they snag this fight. But I guess whoever's offering the most money will eventually host this fight. Um, yeah, the article also goes to talk about the first draft uh, that Eddie Hearn uh, apparently sent to the Tyson Fury camp. And uh, they're waiting to hear back from Tyson Fury. And uh, Eddie Hearn also believes that uh, a fight... Uh, agreement will be reached within this next two weeks or so which is good you know uh, so far from what i've been hearing about the progress of this fight being made it, it's looking good it, it's looking good it looks to the point that it is happening this year 2021 the wbo situation on the side with uh uh uzik uh seeming like it looks like he'll be stepping aside to fight uh joe joyce uh which makes this fight available for undisputed status with a wbo title in the line as well and um yeah everything's looking good everything's looking good which is good to see compared to some other fight we know about spence versus crawford um <laughs> so at least this fight's happening and um yeah i just i'm just i'm just hoping for great things man i'm just hoping for great things uh once this fight's official i i just hope that nothing prevents it from happening um you know Tyson Fury and Joshua I'm sure they're staying in shape just staying in shape to prepare for this fight because there's a lot in the line this fight undisputed status in the heavyweight division for all the belts man just imagine that holy cow man 2021 is looking good so far in my opinion when it comes to the sport of boxing I mean I know fans are still not allowed to watch live in person but um I'm sure, but wherever they host this fight or wherever they put this fight in, whether it's in Australia, the, uh, in the Middle East or the US, I'm sure in some form or way, people will be allowed to watch. It may not be the maximum capacity, but people will, will be able to watch. I'm sure. So, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on the situation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.